I'm on a quest to find the best D1 college basketball experience in Massachusetts, so I found myself at the Case Gymnasium, home of the 0-3 Boston University Terriers, as they host the 1-2 Bryant Bulldogs. Getting down to the part of Massachusetts where BU is, is always annoying. But the parking was good and the easiest lot was this one story lot under this turf complex. It was just as convenient as Harvard's was, but it was more well lit and had more official parking spaces, so it gets a nice 8 out of 10. The part of campus where we were at was kind of a secluded sports area, it felt like it had some dorms around, but it had the hockey complex, the soccer field, Old Nickerson Field was there, and it had a student center, so we'll give it a 7 out of 10. Getting into the stadium was weird, you had to walk up this staircase or you could go around, which we later learned, and getting in the there was a little strange but it felt old and it didn't have a jumbotron in there it just had the two speakers and I felt like I could find a gymnasium that looks like that at pretty much any larger high school in Massachusetts so we'll give it a 6 out of 10. The facilities felt incredibly limited the only bathrooms were only a tiny bit larger than Harvard's and there was no passage to get around the seat so you had to walk in front of people while the game's going on so I can imagine that if it's a full house it's a nightmare to navigate but the concourse had the trophy cases and the photo displays that Harvard didn't so we'll give it a 5 out of 10. The atmosphere and the crowd were fantastic. The pet band was great. The crowd reacted appropriately. They did the things that you look for, like getting quiet on your own free throws and getting loud on the opponents. The crowd did everything the crowd was supposed to do. Plus, I'd be remiss if I did not mention Frisbee Dog. 9 out of 10, just for Frisbee Dog. The player intros probably would have been alright if we could hear them. The band was playing these long notes that were supposed to accompany the announcer, but we couldn't hear the announcer over the band. So it was a little weird. They didn't dim the lights or anything. Plus, Bryant didn't start the GOAT Doug Eater, so they're getting a 5 out of 10. The jerseys looked identical to Harvard's, except they said Boston on them instead of Harvard. They were traditional, but nothing flashy. Bryant's were updated and nice, but they didn't jump out to me as being like super awesome uniforms. So they'll get a 5 out of 10. There was no distinct student section, but the band was awesome and they were always playing. And the students did appear to be the largest constituent of the fan base that was there so even though there wasn't a distinct section for students to sit they were everywhere you could tell so we're gonna give it an 8 out of 10. The seating was fine it had a padded back and an armrest which was nice but they were a little tight on each other they felt a little wobbly but all the seats in the house seemed like they had a very identical view to each other so you can't really knock them on that so we're gonna give it a 6 out of 10. I will say Harvard definitely had a better setup for their concessions. It was a little bit bigger as opposed to BU's tiny little window and they had a limited selection so if it was a sellout they would be constantly overwhelmed and the line would take forever. And I'm gonna give them a 5 out of 10 for their concessions. BU did play a tightly contested first half but they pulled away in the second half led by forward Otto Landrum's 19 points and Kyrone Alexander 17 and a late push by Sharif Gross Bullock's 28 points did narrow the margin as BU takes down Bryant 95-79. to All in all BU is going to get a 64 out of 100 for their stadium.